Welcome everyone to the fifth annual Founders of the Future Forum, the very first that we are doing online. Like everyone, we had to adapt this year and we went from not knowing if we would be able to do a forum to building our most impressive speaker lineup today. So I'm really excited about what we have installed for you today. My name is Pierre Nirohungwa. I'm the co-founder and head of Founders of the Future. And for those who don't know, Founders of the Future builds the next generation of diverse and purpose-driven tech founders by building programs, events, and tools for future founders aged 14 to 30 in their journey to become tech entrepreneurs. Founders of the Future was co-founded with Brent Hoberman and is run by myself and Malta Baskunian, our operations and programs coordinator. Since our launch event in 10 Downing Street in March 2016, We've organized more than 80 events and reached more than 5,000 future founders that we've helped either directly or indirectly. And we do that with two flagship programs, which are first, the fellowship, which is our invite-only community of future founders under 30 who know that they are going to run a tech startup full-time in the next two years. We, every six months, we select 75 new fellows uh, via three-stage selection process and then they embark on a two-year journey with us where they meet with like-minded peers, uh, potential co-founders, mentors, and investors. We currently have 150 fellows of our two cohorts. In each of those cohorts, uh, one fellow has been selected to the prestigious um, Y Combinator Accelerator, and we have 350 alumni, including one of the most successful one, uh, Stefano Vaccino, founder and CEO of Yapili that you're gonna see on stage as a speaker this afternoon in a panel, International Expansion um, during a Pandemic, Should You Do It? Alongside Tanya Boller, co-founder and CEO of LV, and Daniel Glazer, London Office Managing Partner of Wilson Sansini. And Stefano joined us in January 2017, got the spark of his idea in a workshop we did with our client at the time, Santander, in, Mar in May 2017, started his company a few months later, and recently announced a 13 million Series A funding uh, round that put their total amount of funding raised to over $18 million. So make sure to tune in for their session at 3.40 p.m. So um, our second flagship program is the F Factor, which is our nationwide startup competition for under 25 aspiring entrepreneurs, promoting entrepreneurship and social impact using the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals as a framework. And today is a very special day for the F-Factor as you're going to witness the pinnacle of the sixth edition of the F-Factor with uh, the national finals of both a 14 to 18 year old and 19 to 25 year old category. For uh, each final, you're going to see five finalists representing five different regions in the UK and they will all be the regional winner of their respective regional final. The, um, then for such an event, we had to have a rock star um, a panel of judges. And we're going to start with a 90 to 25 year old at 2.05 p.m. And they're going to pitch in front of Sarah Wood, co-founder of Unruly and author of the book Stepping Up, Richard Reed, co-founder of Innocent Drinks and Jam Jar Investment, and Noor Swai, founder and general partner of Global Ventures. Then the 14 to 18 year old will pitch at 4.35 p.m. We had to make sure to do that after school um, in front of Reshma Sohoni, uh, founder and managing partner of Sitcamp, Barry Smith, co-founder of Skyscanner and Noah Media Group, and Pip Jamison, founder and CEO of The Dots. And to make this day even more special, um, today is also the official, first official day of the uh, application launch of the seventh edition of the F Factor. So you can head to ffactor.me to apply. So in order to, um, promote, to help promote these two programs, we recently launched our brand new campus ambassador programs, which is for entrepreneurial um, university students that want to um, progress in their entrepreneurial career. We currently have a first group of 100, uh, of 11, sorry, uh, campus ambassadors, and we're still uh, recruiting more. So head to foundersofuture.co if you're interested. So now on to today. 
The Founders of the Future Forum is our flagship event where we use the network of the uh, of, that we have by being part of the Founders Forum family and the reach that we have from being part of the London Tech Week family to create a platform for um, to, prom to, to share strong messages uh, to help us build the next generation of diverse and purpose-driven tech founders. Um, so the subjects uh, that you're going to hear about today are dear to our hearts and topics that we know that will help future and early stage founders in their journey. We believe that the next generation of founders should be purpose-driven and build startups that solve the world's biggest problems. So you're going to hear from one of the most prominent voice in tech, former CEO and chairman of Google, Eric Schmidt, on that topic. And this is why one of the five judging criteria of the, the F-Factor National Final is in fact. We believe that the next generation of founders should be diverse. And this is why you're going to hear from music legend and co-founder and chairman of the We Are Family Foundation, Nile Rogers, and former F-Factor winner and founder and CEO of BYP Network, Kike Oniwinde, to, uh, in our panel, Black Lives Matters, what does it mean for the next gen of tech founders? And we believe that because we are encouraging entrepreneurship, it's our, our responsibility to educate future founders on the risk, mental health risks of creating and running a startups. And this is why we're going to have a panel on mental health and human performance, um, tech founders versus elite athletes, where we're going to have um, track and field Olympic gold medalist, Christine Ohurugu, Oru um, Alex Tu, the co-founder and co-CEO of Mindfulness App, Calm at uh, 6.30 p.m. in a conversation animated by uh, Chase Jarvis, co-founder of Creative Life and podcast host. And finally, um, we picked some topics that our future founders and um, early search founders that we work with ask us about the most. So this is why we're going to have the panel of international expansion that I've mentioned earlier with uh, Stefano Vaccino from Yapili, Tanya Boller from LV, and Daniel Glazer from Wilson Sansini. And that we're going to start today with our uh, My First Minute Fireside Chat, where we're going to hear from the early days of co Andy Phillips, co-founder of Active Hotels, uh, that became later on Booking.com. So we really hope that you're going to enjoy this afternoon with us, and then we, you're going to stay for as many sessions as possible. But just before we kick off, I'd just like to give a big thank you to our sponsor, without whom we wouldn't be able to do this forum. So um, we have law firm Wilson Sansini. We work with their London office uh, where they help UK startups uh, in their expansion to the US. Um, we have EY and we work with their uh, employee brand and entrepreneur of the year award team and Life Skills, which is a program by Barclays, which um, help teenagers and young adults uh, in their career and personal development. So if you want to be one of these sponsors, uh, email me at pierre at foundersofthefuture.co. You can also head in the swap card platform to the virtual booth of London Tech Week to download our sales deck. And if you want to stay in touch with Founders of the Future, head to foundersofthefuture.co, um, sign up to our newsletter, come to our next social mixer on the 29th of September, and apply to our program, the fellowship, the F-Factor, the Campus Ambassador, whatever fits you best. So now let's kick up for, for the day and to announce the first session, I'd like to hand it over to our co-founder and chairman, Brent Hoberman, um, to introduce the next session. Over to you, Brent. Great. Thank you, Pierre. And thank you, everyone, for joining. Um, I think Pierre's done an excellent introduction to Founders of the Future and to the program today. So really excited with the journey that Founders of the Future has been on as an entrepreneurial organization itself, but more importantly, for the impact it's been able to have over those five years um, to inspire young people to become entrepreneurs, which obviously I think all of us here think is so critical and important. Um, the caliber of today's speakers really speaks for itself. So it's, it's fantastic to have a world-class lineup um, today. So very excited um, to be sharing that with all of you. Um, now, extra um, please that the first session um, is going to be led uh, by um, uh, Lena Wenner, who is associate partner at First Minute Capital, a venture fund I co-founded and backed by a lot of amazing world-class entrepreneurs who really want to help the next generation. So that's also, it, it fits in with the purpose of what's so important. And um, as you have heard now, she'll be in conversation with Andy Phillips. And Andy and I have known each other since way back in the days of early travel, probably since about 1998, when most of you should not have been born yet. Um, 
as we were both in, in the online travel. But uh, Andy, as, as you've heard, so look, I will hand it over now um, to Lena, and I'm excited to um, learn from her about Andy's My First Minute.